I'm Dave Collins with CleverHiker.com and in this episode we're going to take a look at ultralight backpacks. The concept of an ultralight backpack is very similar to that of a traditional backpack. You're going to have a large compartment for storing gear, as well as some small compartments for easily accessible items. They'll also have shoulder straps and a hip belt to transfer the weight, and also some form of a frame to make it feel comfortable on your back. The differences are going to come in the areas of the material of the pack, the style of the frame, the capacity that it will hold and also just the general simplicity of the packs themselves. Choosing an ultralight pack can also be a great area for huge weight savings. Traditional packs can easily be five to seven pounds, where ultralight packs are generally around two pounds and can even get less than a pound. Traditional backpacks are built out of very thick, sturdy, heavy material. They're made to take a beating. The problem is that your legs and back are also gonna take a beating under the weight. Ultralight backpacks save weight with thinner materials like thin versions of ripstop nylon and Cuban fiber. Because the materials are a little thinner, you're gonna lose a little bit of durability, but they're not feeble by any means. I personally traveled over 3,000 trail miles with this backpack with very minimal repairs. So I can tell you, if you take care of an ultralight pack, it'll last you a long time. The style of frame is also going to be different in an ultralight backpack. Traditional backpacks have very thick, heavy, rigid frames for carrying big, heavy loads. You obviously don't want to be carrying a big, heavy load though. So an ultralight pack is going to utilize a much thinner version of a frame, which might take a little while to get used to, but most hikers find them very comfortable. Ultralight packs range from something that might have a thicker frame for someone who wants a little bit more support, all the way down to a pack that might not have any frame at all. You can sometimes use a sleeping pad to slide into your backpack and have a makeshift frame for while you hike. And some backpacks also utilize metal stays that can help add support, but won't add too much weight. An ultralight bag is also gonna save you weight through simplicity of design. With a traditional pack, there's lots of pockets, straps, pouches, clips, and zippers, which might seem like a convenient way to carry your gear, but the problem is all that extra material adds up to a lot of weight. In an ultralight pack, what you're gonna get is one main compartment, top loading for holding all your gear, a pocket on the outside that's mesh, as well as a couple pockets for easily accessible gear. One great benefit to ultralight hiking is that if you're bringing less gear, you're not gonna need as much space in your backpack. For that reason, ultralight bags generally tend to have less capacity than traditional backpacks. Traditional backpacks will generally have 60 to 80 liters in volume, but you gotta remember, having a big bag is gonna be more materials, which is gonna add up to a lot of weight, and also, if you've got a lot of space in your bag, you tend to fill it with things that you might not need. There's a lot of great ultralight bag options out there with different capacity levels. If you're new and you're worried about the amount of volume your bag's gonna hold, you might wanna stick to a 60 to 70 liter range. If you're confident and committed at your ability to get light, there's a lot of options out there in the 50 to 60 liter range that should be able to carry you on any length of trip. I generally prefer minimal packs with light frames somewhere in the 50 to 60 liter capacity range. But there's a lot of great options out there for backpacks, so make sure to look at our gear recommendations document to help you choose the right one. You'll be shocked by how light your new backpack feels, and you'll love the newfound freedom on the trail. I'm Dave Collins for cleverhiker.com. Hike light, hike smart, and have fun.